If you've been thinking of getting a SIG Energy SIG install battery, you're not sure what the process is like, you're not sure what it does, well in this video I'm going to show you from a consumer's point of view what it's like with the install, how smoothly it goes and then what it's going to do for your home. So today I'm super excited. I've just had uh, Evergreen Electrical with Sim Cook here installing our brand new 24 kilowatt SIG Energy SIG install unit. We've got the gateways you can probably see on the wall here and he's been able to fully DC couple it as well. So super excited to show you guys around what the install process was like. Then we're also going to run through a few of the, the first sort of things I've noticed uh, you're starting to use this system. Something quite unique that most people probably wouldn't have done, and some people give me a bit of flack for doing it, but I decided to use my existing solar system and then restring it to DC couple it to the battery. What I wanted was to have the ability to fully utilize the side and stores efficiency of the DC coupled versus the AC coupled solar as well as probably the most important part was have the ability to black start it. So if there were days on days with no grid connection, DC coupling allows it to really charge from black, like nothing, all the way to full and back down again, where AC coupled doesn't do that. And I wasn't actually aware of that, but thanks uh, to Sim for letting me know about that. The interesting thing is most installers, they didn't really want to touch that. They didn't want to do the work. Uh, as a result of what I wanted, they had to remove these existing panels. So they're only a couple years old, uh, they've got solar edge optimizers on trainer panels and they had to delete the optimizers and then restring. And I'm, I'm really happy with what they did because when they put these panels back in and linked them all up, Ezra and Samuel found a few things that the previous installers took shortcuts on. So they took the time, they put it back together really well. Uh, they even did things like, you know, deleting the excess rails sticking out the sides. So it looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it looks and really appreciate their attention to detail. When doing the maths on this, and I think this is a, another video in the making, is the payback period of these is getting better and better, particularly here in Australia, where our energy costs are going through the roof. This initially before the rebate was probably gonna be about 10 to 15 years. Uh, I'm gonna to subscribe to Amber. I'll even put a referral link below if you're gonna do it, but it's gonna get my repay time back down to about three to four years, which is phenomenal. It's, a, it's just something I think every home's gonna have in the future. So while Sam and Ezra were on the roof, Sim got started on the battery and the gateway. Really important when you're choosing your battery location is find a spot that has a 600 mil gap from any clearance of openings. So for me, this was outside my garage. This was a perfect spot. Um, it's out of the way, it's subtle. It's right near the switchboard as well. And so this spot was perfect. Now these batteries weigh a lot. Now for this 24 kilowatt system with the inverter stacked end on end, it ends up being around 250 kilos. So for this one, a stable base is really important. And I really like uh, the way SIG's made their foundation here. Attention to detail, easy install, it's got a built-in level into the base. So guys, if you're getting one of these installed, it really pays to have a top-notch install on these projects. I was really amazed at the level of detail and wiring that goes into these, uh, particularly when you start getting into the switchboard. One criteria I had for the battery is that I wanted it to allow for complete backup off-grid. So I wanted to have our house able to be powered regardless of whether or not there was power dropping out. And this is what the gateway does. So the gateway has a super fast switch over from the battery back up back to the house if there was a blackout from the grid. And I know there's some solar systems out there that if you have a blackout, you actually lose all electricity. It doesn't matter if you've got the sun shining or not, you lose it. So this was a super important part for me. Quite neat sort of package here on the wall, looks really good. And we even got the chance to test it. So once we we're up and running, we flicked the mains off from the grid and we still had power in the house. It didn't even lag with the dropout. There's no flicker of a light, there was nothing. Everything kept running smoothly. Computers remained running. It was great. And this was a feature that quite a few of the batteries didn't have where if they did, shut down, you'd have a couple seconds lag there before it would switch back on. So everything would restart, your computers would switch off, your clocks would restart. Uh, not the case for SIG Energy, really impressive. Now 
Now I've said this a couple times, but I'm a, a sucker for neat and tidy, and this symmetry was beautiful. This was a super tidy install. Now Sim was able to go right through this wall, directly to the back of the board for a very aesthetically pleasing finish. Once the inverter was on, the real work started to begin. This was in getting the solar and the battery to talk with each other and with the grid. Watching them through this process, I was amazed at how much goes in behind the scenes to get this stuff to work. So kudos to Ezra on some of the nicest conduit work I've ever seen from a Sparky. Samuel, he was doing a pretty good job too, but these guys really pride themselves on their neatness at the end of the job. And it was one of those things that I can always walk down there, I'm never gonna find anything out of place. It's really pleasing to the eye. Now the final piece of the puzzle was the Sigen sensor. And this meant we could start to wire everything uh, up to the moment of truth, firing up the inverter for the first time. Now I've heard this process can be really touch and go for a lot of systems. Uh, the commissioning of these systems can be promised to take 15 minutes and then it takes several hours. So thankfully in our case, a short prayer and some good workmanship, it only took about 10 minutes. And once we're up and running, it was the final aesthetics of putting on the covers and attaching the LEDs to the side. And myself and Sim were laughing a bit at this because it really is quite a gimmick. It doesn't actually change the function of the battery, but it's sort of cool at the same time. And the really cool thing is all these colors are customizable. So the kids absolutely love it when they can go out there and change it to pink, change it to yellow, do whatever they like. So this is the finished product. We've got all the stickers, all the gateways, all the nice bits and pieces with the, the unit finally on. And as you can see, I've got the colors going, the thing's charging off solar. And since we've had this installed, it's only a couple of days old, but I haven't had to use any grid power since. So a couple of first impressions. Uh, I was really, really impressed with how seamless it was getting it to integrate. So when Sim from Evergreen came over, got his phone out, opened up his installer app, got me to log in, and I was pretty much in. I could see the app, I could see what it was doing, I could control what it's doing. From start to finish, it's probably about a two day process if you're gonna take panels off and put the battery in. I've heard that if you're just doing an AC coupled battery, it's probably like a half day job, but I think it's in the end, it's gonna be worth it. This is a long-term investment. We really want to get the most out of it. And it's also now allowing me to add more solar on. So I've only used two ports in this and there's four. So if we do want to expand our solar, and get more solar, then we've got the opportunity to add even more. And that's gonna be great. Uh, I think that's one of those things, you wanna future-proof yourself as much as you can with these sorts of uh, quite big outlays. So if you're in the central western New South Wales, you're looking for a good installer, couldn't recommend Sim from Evergreen enough. They've done a great job, really happy with it, really good at communicating what's going on and super tidy. I'll link his details below so you can get in touch if you want to, but otherwise, I'll catch you next time.